you have so many wives. You rather have one wife, and you go up on the roof. Let me say, some bad mind people and some envious people, no, them just grudge you for your one sin thing. So, <laughs> Cindy Breakspear, a few days ago, you wish the great Bob Marley happy birthday. And I couldn't believe what I was hearing. The wagoners them start to gaslight you. The troll them start to burn you out. So therefore, Cindy, you see now this video here? Me are going to defend you. We are going to burn out the wagoners them. We are going to burn out the worm infested barracuda them. And we are going to make them know, say, the seed that came out of your womb is one of the best things ever happened to Jamaica. Do, do people understand what... Cindy, my dear, you became Miss World in 1976. You were beautiful, voluptuous. I know Bob Marley as the womanizer start to look over the fence. He became like King David who looked up at the roof and saw Uriah wife, Bathsheba. So Bob Marley started to look and you like him too. And guess what, Cindy? You and the hook up. And the whole upper class uptown start to burn you up. Say you are sell out. How you can sleep with Rasta man? How you can down so low? How you can hook up with Natty Dread, Bobo Dread, Farty Leg and Scarpian in him head, Ganja smoking Rasta? <laughs> but Cindy, you saw a gem and them never see it. In 1976, you became Miss World. You were a brand. You never need no Rasta man. But as the saying goes in life, you know, Cindy, good girls love bad guys. I saw me get my wife, you know. <laughs> There's a saying in Christendom. He calls your mistakes to prosper. People, think about this. When the Pharisees and the scribes want to box Jesus into a corner, They caught the woman in adultery. And they brought it to Jesus. I said, Rabbi, Rabbi, we caught this woman in the act. Because what they wanted to do, you know, they wanted to catch him in the argument. Because they said, tell you what, we under the law of Moses. And Christ says, I didn't come to replace the law. You know. I came to fulfill the law. So when they brought up the woman who caught in adultery, Jesus stooped down and wrote in the sand. He said, let he who is without sin cast the first stone. You see, by the time Jesus get up, the Pharisees and scribes, them run down like Ruth and Moses. They say, will. Jesus said, will. Lady, where are your accusers? Them said, I'm gone. Him said, lady, your sins are forgiven. Go and sin no more. So Cindy, you see when the wagon is them are you out. Remember saying you know, that they have sins because Christ says, let he who is without sin cast the first stone. So them kind of worm infested barracuda the way I burn you out and I gaslight you. Make them shut up because guess what now? God says I will cause your mistakes to prosper. Yeah, straight up. So all I know we are born with sin the breaks beer. Tell me which one I don't have no sin. As the Bible says, you know, you can pick out the beams out of your eyes before you pick it out of other eyes. Only they are thrown in the darkness. As the word says, men love darkness more than light because their deeds are evil. So you don't go and pick on sin and look for your problem. We're not the same thing, are even worse. Yeah. People. One of the things about this. Can you imagine in 1976 when Jamaica had a high level of prejudice? Upper class, them white. Lower class, them black. Can you imagine Miss World getting pregnant for a Rasta man? Can you imagine the shame and the social scorn that she has to deal with? Carrying the son of one of the most disparate human beings. Pan the island, a bobo dread, a rasta man. 
No, as the saying goes again. And this is why me love God. Because what he said, he said, I'll cause your mistakes to prosper. Straight up. You see when man look upon the outside, the Almighty look upon the inside. Because what he said, he said before the creation of the universe, he knows you. Young man, not part of the Marley stock with Rita Marley. He was more likely what you call an outcast, a bastard, like me. Yeah, I'm out. I'm hungry, them call me. Think about this. Think about the fact that the young you father died in 1980, 81. And people, the youth man know that he may have a father who's an icon, but he may have had a relationship with his father gone. Think about the psychological problem where the youth man go through. Think about the loss of a father. Think about the rejection from an upper class. Me tell him to say, you know, God cause your mistakes to prosper. So think about what the youth man have to go through. Anyone don't know when they grow up with a father. You don't know that feel? I grew up without a father. You don't know the kind of hole where we have in our heart as young man. Why do you think the youth in my yard fire smoke shot? Because the youth don't no guide them king gone, or them king not dead, or them king dead. I have been there and I know what it feels like. When you grow, when you grow up without a father. He had it both ways. He didn't have a father. And then upper class, I condemn him. You see, that's why God has to lift him up. Now, if you look at the Mali family then, who grew up with Rita. Dear man Mali go up with the pain of rejection. The pain of being ostracized. The pain of not having a father. Now look on the man now. How many Grammys the man have won? Who boss out Jamaican music and them come welcome to Jam Rock? Yeah. I the man that. So Sydney, no feel no way. God bless your home. And then what I say, I burn you out. And that's why I burn them out. Because respect must do. No, 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 Jamaica can tell me, say, we have a straight family. It's a plantation society, so everybody mix up. So, before you throw a rock stone, members say, no live in a glass house. Yeah, so the thing said. Bob Marley became an icon because of the song he sung. But Bob Marley's songs came from Pain and rejection. That I don't know that. Bob Marley was a bastard child. His father was never involved. And because his father was white, he was never accepted in the family. So guess what? He was an outsider. So that created a hole in the icon heart. I mean, no Bob Marley feel because me felt that. So guess what? When Bob Marley write him lyrics, he write it from some deep, Pain and hurt. That's why I can relate because the man was honest. No. Look at Ziggy Marley music then compared to Damian Marley. Damian Marley has sing from heart and pain. That's why I can connect. Yeah, you know things say inspiration and then things that just come out of the blue. So there's a saying in life that the fire crucible is where real heroes are born. You have to go through struggle. Yeah. And the man went through a whole lot of struggle because guess what? Society looked down upon him. He was never accepted. And yo, him father did. So, at the pain the man had got through, that's why the man now I run things and say the bless up for that. Yeah. I got burn them out now and dry the nail right now the coffee now. But before me even start this up, me have a big up. The angry white Jamaican because he burn out the mall and man said they must sell out. Me have to big up the pork eating Rasta man triple X. One the thing about this. King David was one of the greatest king the world ever had. But King David was also a gallus. He had hundreds of wife and him craving. And him couldn't leave another man's wife. Yet, yeah, one man, you know. <laughs> King David was walking on his palace roof. And him looked over the fence, so. Him saw a beautiful woman take a shower. The woman full of curves. 
full of everything. Yeah, remind me of my wife. And guess what? King David just got mesmerized. And him sent him servant and said, Yo, servant, why invite that woman over my place? And I said, King David was so lustful and God loved him about the man had a weakness. The man loved the ladies them. So what King David did? Him sought out Uriah, him captain wife, just like that. But when do was even strange in people, him tried to cover it off. When them set back the woman home, then him called Uriah off of the battlefield to go home because he, he want Uriah to go home because sought out the wife so he can cover it up so he like him not do nothing. So Uriah never take the beat. Uriah does sleep with the other soldiers them. Then the next year him do the same thing again. Uriah never take the beat because Uriah was a liar captain. So guess what now? <clears throat> David know I cover up and you know, cover up the thing more. So what David do? War broke out and them a fight. So what David do, you know? Him just push Uriah in the heat of the battle. And the enemy them kill Uriah. In another time, David married the man wife. Married the man wife. Yeah. And guess what now? The woman get pregnant. But when David not realize said God wasn't sleeping because God not sleeping or God saw his evil. So he thought by getting Uriah killed, marrying the man's wife, everything was good. So God, what God do know? God tapped Nathan the prophet and said, Nathan, go don't talk to that king know because we're mad with that king know. We're mad with that king here. So when Nathan went down there, I was me not born, you know. I don't hit the follow button yet. I don't hit the follow button yet. I don't hit the like button yet. I work, me I work, me I lose all my voice. I don't hit the subscribe button yet. Because I'm born and all. Yeah, born and all. So people, Nathan the prophet went down there to give David a parable. He said, David, you have a rich man and you have the poor man. And a man came for dinner. What the rich man did you know? The rich man can take one of his sheep, kill it, and feed the visitor. What the rich man did you know? He go and took the poor man, one sheep, kill it, and gave to the visitor. So Nathan said to David, Who is that man? David looked like he didn't know where I'm going. Nathan said, Are you? Are you a wicked man? Because look now, you have so many wives. You rather have one wife, and you go up on the roof. Me tell me say some bad mind people and some envious people. No, them just brought you for your one sin thing. So, <laughs> so people, the man have been one wife, and they have left him children wife. Go thief the man one wife, and then him go get the man killed. So God say, yo, I go and deal with a brother here. You know, me go fix him. So God say, Nathan. Tell him, say, are you David? Are you the wicked man? So David conscience lick him. David fast. David start to pray. David start to prostrate him still. David beg God, oh my Lord, I have been wicked. He couldn't eat for days. He couldn't even start out no more. Because he conscience kill him. Because no say when God put a eat it for you, I eat that. But guess what now? We have a God of forgiveness. And God say, all right now, me hear you. Me hear you about. So guess what now? You see, the first child you have with Bethsheba, the Uriah wife, I'm going to kill it. David lose four more sons. God take them out. But me have shown you now how we have a God, a God of forgiveness, that when you come to him with repentance and when you tune your heart, God will just reinstate everything. Now, me tell you to say, you know, he caused your mistakes to prosper. So guess what now? Who is the greatest king and the richest king ever graced planet earth? No Salomon. How where Salomon come from? He no drop out of the sky, you know? And he no come down from Jamaica. Because remember what God said. He said before the creation of the universe, I know you. So God can use anything to exalt him glory. 
So Solomon was the son of Bathsheba. You know Bathsheba, Uriah's wife, where David killed. And that's how Solomon come through, you know. And that's how Christ come through. And that's how the kingdom has come through. So God used the mistake to prosper. Yeah, open your soul. So we could go back to them, dear man, Marley, kiss now, and sing the bricks, be kiss now. So we bottle now. Yeah, open your soul. So just like King Solomon, who built Solomon Temple, a who a carry the Marley Ma name, the most powerful nowadays. No junior gang a carry Marley name, most powerful. No dear man, I run things now. Because guess what? It's when dear man, I run him lyrics, them, he might run it from heart. Am I running from soul? Am I running from passion? That's why you can't get so many Grammys. So when the man sing, the man has sing from him heart and lyrics. That's why I have so many millions of followers and subscribers. Because guess what? The man has sing from pain. So let me kind of bring this home right now. So Cindy, big up yourself. Respect every time. As we said before, the fire crucible is where real heroes are born. The best way to kill your enemies, them, and your critics, them, are success. Them. Now look on Damien. Damien epitomized them far and more than any one of them all of them. And now go tell me, say, when I run a movie, and the man not even in the movie. How can I think this? I'm going to do this. No, them things are not right. And that's why I'm glad when the angry white Jamaican burn them out. Remember, say, when the scribes and the Pharisees come, to catch Jesus in an argument. Jesus come and say, Let he who is without sin cast the first stone. We see over and over and over again, God cause your mistakes to prosper. We see Damian Marley and Cindy Bretspear who were disparaged in the 1970s. No, hold up Jamaica big and become an I can because guess what? The man has sing from him pain and the man has sing from him tribulation and been through. I've been ostracized. So Cindy, don't feel guilty when Bob Marley say, turn the lights down low and move your window curtain so let Jamu come shining in into our life. Again, yeah, as Jesus said, the stone that the builder refused will become the chief corner stone. Yeah, and me gone.